Hello, today I want to talk about the Giant Mouse GM2, a new knife from Giant Mouse company. This company was founded by Jesper Voxnes and Jens Anzo, two Danish knife designers. It's produced in Italy and the company itself is located in the United States. Uh, they produce uh, limited production knives, so these are not customs but also not mass-produced um, production knives so it's somewhere in between and uh, this particular one, the GM2, is limited to 300 pieces worldwide there's also a more exclusive version which is made out of uh, titanium handle scales instead of uh, these um, CF ones and uh, this titanium version is limited to 100 pieces there's also a must produced version of this, so to speak, namely the, uh, the Viper Fortis, which looks very similar to this. Uh, it's also made in Maniago, Italy, probably in the same facility, and it's a bit cheaper, even though it looks almost the same and uh, yeah, almost identical materials and functionality, but not quite. We'll come to that later. I don't have the Fortis, but for now I can only say that um, the GM2 costs uh, $325 and the Viper Fortis is available for under $200 so is it worth to spend more money on this knife instead of the Viper? I will come to that in, uh, at the end of this video when we have talked through all the aspects of this knife. So let's start with the blade. The blade is made out of M390 steel, which is great, it's my favorite steel. And uh, compared to other Jesper Voxner knives like the Viper Odino, which is made out of N690, and also the previous uh, Giant Mouse knife, the GM1, was, has also used N690. N690 is not a bad steel, but M390 is great, so this is uh, a good upgrade comes in this buoy style blade very broad but also with a tip and a swedge so also good for for penetrating or stabbing cuts but also for slicing I still have the factory edge but my idea is that um, such a broad and flat blade should be a good slicer so I will probably put a, an appropriate edge for slicing, a bit finer edge on this. And yeah. Okay, so much for to the for the blade right now. I'll come to this section later. The handles. As you can see, these are contoured or rounded carbon fibers as uh, handle scales, but also with the texturing they have lines built into the CF and this um, caused some controversy on some forums because some people complain that they have some splinters in the CF yeah I, I tested my knife and I only found one tiny splinter just below the pivot point so this is not a big deal for me but if you really do have a knife with a lot of these splinters or whatever in the knife. This is not a trivial issue because, um, yeah, carbon fiber is not a material that should be just grounded off. Uh, you should wear at least a mask or something if, if you want to remove or smoothen this area around. However, my, mine is fine and the ergonomics are really great. And added to this, there are no liners on the presentation side, so here just carbon fiber. On the locking side you have the carbon fiber and just a small section. Only this this part inside there's this um, titanium liner for the locking mechanism. So it's extremely lightweight. And to show you here for comparison you have the Kershaw Cryo which is a total <laughs> different beast. The, the GM2 is obviously a lot bigger, but this is actually 
the cryo is actually a little bit heavier. So this just shows you how important um, the material can be. Here we have a um, steel framework, here we have full carbon fiber with hardly any liners. Okay. Okay, let's move on now to the deployment. As you can see, we have a flipper here and also a thumb hole. So you have two options for opening the knife. It can either be flipped, which works fine, but here I have my benchmark for flipping knives, the ZT0456. And I must say that the GM2 is yeah, not quite as good as this, but this is a exceptionally well, it's just awesome, the ZT. And you can also see why the GM2 actually cannot be as great as this one. Here you can see the ZT is a dedicated flipper, there's no other way to open it than just to flip it. However, because as I said here we have a flipper and a thumb hole, so it is, has to be a compromise. It has, has to be good at flipping but also smooth for just rolling it open with the thumb hole. And so what makes the compromise? Yeah, the compromise lies in the detent. It has to be strong enough to flip but not too strong to prevent the smooth rolling opening. Whereas here you can just focus on a really strong detent. So if you want a dedicated flipper, a ZT knife like this one, it's probably the better way to go. But I actually prefer smooth uh, thumb hole opening. That being said, the flipper tab still makes some sense. I mean here in the Lion Steel uh, TRE we have a removable removable flipper here. I actually removed it. Here we don't. But still it makes sense because of the blade shape. As I said it's a buoy style so it's also good for stabbing. When you stab you need some finger guard so that your fingers don't slide around and eventually you or accidentally you cut yourself. So the flipper tab becomes a finger guard. So it still makes sense. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention here the line steel TRE is probably the perfect example of a well executed carbon fiber uh, contoured and textured handle scales. It's a lot smoother than this, so I wish this one was on the level of the line steel. But it's still still good. It's, it really feels great in the hand. It's quite wide and thick. I like it because I have big hands, so for me it's okay. Okay, now to the locking mechanism. As I mentioned before, here we have a liner lock. And it's a titanium liner lock. On top of that, it's not even a full liner. As I said, I took the knife apart. It's only this section here. So yeah. Compared to the ZT, which has uh, is a frame lock, titanium frame lock, but but with a steel insert. And let's say here we also have a steel insert. So the GM2 not only is the uh, liner lock very, very thin; it's made out of titanium. So when you flip it, I don't know how durable it would be because when you flip it there's a lot of force used when the steel clashes on the titanium and as I said the titanium is very thin but as I said I will probably mostly use it like this only so for me it's fine but again if you want a flipper maybe you should look somewhere else Yes, so uh, the clip is quite is a milled titanium clip, and I usually don't like them. For example, the line steel also has a um, 
mills titanium clip and it's not really that great but here it kind of works it's even though it's quite stiff but for a milled clip it's quite okay actually yeah so this is basically it oh, yeah maybe just one one more thing about the flipping action so I took the knife apart and yeah it runs on um, caged ball bearings which is good and as I said there are no liners here so I was a bit afraid how it would work but actually within the titanium scale there's a small metal ring so that the ball bearings don't run directly on the carbon fibers they would dig uh, into the carbon fiber so there's a metal ring so it runs on this the, the ball bearing runs on the metal ring so it helps for yeah to make it long uh, run quite for a long time overall also the fit and finish when I took it apart is really great because when you unscrew and take out all the screws the knife doesn't fall apart because the, the tolerances are so tight so it's really well constructed so this uh, this is also a good thing so what's my overall verdict well for me it's it's good if you want something different which means if you don't want a generic titanium frame lock flipper yeah then this here like as I said you have a carbon fiber minimalistic titanium liner lock which is not very common so it's a little bit something different so not your run-of-the-mill knife and it's great it costs more but you have something more exclusive if you don't care about this yeah the Viper Fortis might be the better choice for you it's cheaper and you get more or less the same knife and actually without the issues because because it's also a frame lock that in a frame lock flipper so yeah that's it thanks for watching